What are we doing today? We're doing a picture of the rocks on Lake Superior. Look at this view. This is crazy. What? <laughs> My name is Billy. I'm Sierra, and this is our dog, Jetty. We usually live and travel on a boat, a few different boats, in fact. But now we are driving across the country as our new boat is being built. Join us on this all-new Tula adventure as we drive, bike, hike, paddle, and sail across the good old USA. Don't forget to subscribe. We just left Hog Island State Forest Campground on Lake Michigan, and we didn't get to enjoy Lake Michigan yet because we are on our way to Picture of Rocks and Lake Superior. But we will be back and we'll stay at more campgrounds on Lake Michigan. We just hit town real quick before we go paddling at Pictured Rock. Sierra ran into the food store right here, Family Fair, while I went to the gas station right over there. Let's go see what Sierra got. Let's see if she got any goodies. What'd you get? Vegetables. Ooh, look at this and some beer. Upper Peninsula beer. And what kind of vegetables? Eh, just our usual eggplant, squash, green beans, carrots. I shop very different than 90% of the people in that store. <laughs> we are in search of the original Upper Peninsula Miner's Patsy. Pasty. Pasty. However you say it. Pasties. 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 One of those. We try to only go out to eat once a week no matter whether that's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. However, when you're in a place, sometimes like that's the coolest and most fun and most delicious way to like get to know a place. Because everybody has their own like take on food and whatnot. We just went to the grocery store, got a lot of vegetables, so we will indulge this one last time and then it's back to cooking over the bonfire. No. Do you know what they are? Kind of. Just from what it says, Belmont? the equivalent of a meat pie. Okay. So the traditional one is the youper, and then we have the chicken youper. They both have potatoes, rutabagas, onions, carrots. This one has beef and pork. This one has chicken. Mm. We have a breakfast that's potatoes, onions, cheese, eggs, and sausage. And then we have a vegan that has no animal or animal byproducts. I know it's lunch, but I'll do the breakfast, please. Yeah, do you can't go wrong with breakfast. <laughs> so. What do you like better, the original or the chicken? The original. Okay, I'll do that one. What's the traditional way to eat it? Lady? She said just right out of the bag. It's probably going to be really hot, but... Which one did you get? The original yopper. I got the breakfast. Yopper. Yopper. It's really good. Lots of flavor. There was a vegetable in there I've never heard of. Rutabaga. I think it's a root vegetable. I think. Really good. Do you want to bite of mine? Yeah. Mmm. Wow. That's amazing. Right out of the bag. Oh, that's a big bite for being hot. What is it? Do you wish you got mine? Mmm. Really good. Mmm. Better than the New York egg sandwich on a bagel? Honestly, kind of. In a way. So we're here at a spot called Miner's Beach in the National Lakeshore, and it is packed. Like, there's a big old parking lot down there, but it is completely full, so everyone's just parking on the side of this road right now. What day is it? Tuesday or Wednesday? It's Tuesday or Wednesday. So, it is packed. Sierra's inflating the paddle boards right now. You can come with us, JD girl. Now we're stuck on the side of the road trying to fix a leak while we're in one of the most beautiful paddling places in the country because we have a giant leak in the board. We're just gonna try to patch it, at least a temporary patch, at least to slow it down, hopefully. So just cut the string off and sanded it down a little and the only sticky thing we have is bike tire patches. Um, but we'll use some of that glue, that repair glue that comes with these things. And then we'll uh, just put a little dab of that right over the hole and then we'll use this bike tire patch. A little bit more than I wanted, but that's all right. So silly. I don't know if you guys can see the beach behind us, but it is packed right now. There's a bunch of these outfitters that do kayak tours and stuff like that. So there's like 
kayaks lined up and down the beach for those tours um, and a lot of people on the beach <laughs> but we're on the water now and it's super calm super clear and just beautiful and my lead on this board is only kind of slow so I have to paddle pretty quick so I don't lose too much air before we return we're getting pretty close to the very beginning of these cliffs over here. That picture rocks. And uh, and it was recommended to us by numerous people to go with a guide or go with one of these kayak outfitters or whatever. But you guys know us, we like to do our own thing. So we just took our own paddle boards over. Apparently, and I believe it, it does get really nasty in this area. And weather can change pretty quickly. So we're just gonna stay aware. We looked at the rain forecast. It looks super calm all day, but we'll just stay aware just in case storm comes through. And we're pretty confident in our paddling skills. Look how pretty this is. That's like a rock that like fell off. And this bird really doesn't like us, or shall I say jetty. And it's like diving out our heads. It's so pretty. All right, we got our first set of tall cliffs behind us. You guys see how blue and clear this water is? It looks like Gatorade. <laughs> it looks like it only gets cooler from here. So like right around this corner, it looks even, even cooler. And you hear like birds of prey up here, like some sort of eagle or hawk or something, chirping away. This is so cool. All right, it's still leaking. <laughs> It's so red, like way more red than I was thinking it would be. Isn't it wild? It's crazy. Look at this big rock. You can tell it just like slid right down the face of the cliff. Imagine being here during that. Jenny looks like she wants to go in. You want to go in the water, Jenny? Nah, she's like, you want to go in? Go ahead, you can go in. Go ahead, go get mama. <laughs> yeah, she did. You want to go back and get him? You want to go up? Go get him! Go get him! Ready, set, go get him! Ready, go! Ready, set, go! <laughs> Jenny decides she wanted to come back on the big board. Come on, you! And each bend just gets like more extreme and more pretty. Oh man, big rock just fell. Wow. That was wild. I was too busy paying attention to the fact that I think I'm over a shipwreck. I didn't bring a mask and it's pretty dang cold. So I don't think I'm gonna jump in, but y'all can. Is it cool? Or is it like a dock? So everyone said that Lake Superior was definitely colder than all the other lakes, like dangerously cold. It, it could be dangerous, sure, but it's probably in the, what, 60s? Like probably the mid-60s? Do I taste good? Do I taste good? 
any body of water can cause hypothermia. It just depends on how long you're in it. Are you sure it's not hyperthermia? Hypothermia. Hyperthermia. Hypothermia. One's when it get when you get too hot. I and would think that's hyper. Your body's moving a lot. Oh. One or the other, the cold one. We should know this. This is really disappointing because we see a really cool like arch. It's like the arch that this place is known for. And it's another like two miles from here, which honestly we would do in a second, but the board is definitely getting a little bit soft, a little bit more flimsy than it was when we first started. And I just don't want to get stuck out here with a half deflated board just paddling a plastic bag back. Is that, that came, then a storm would come and Everything would just go at once. <laughs> so I think we're gonna unfortunately have to miss that. My patch is not holding up, but I wasn't, I didn't really have too much faith in it. Here's a whole group of kayakers coming back. Saw them like going behind the rock, so we're gonna follow them in. We just got back to the beach where we started. Actually, we started down there, but we see a set of stairs here. So we're gonna try to walk up these set of stairs to get over to where the truck is. But Sierra's gonna swim in Lake Superior first. Go. <gasps> dad we went clamming and I found a pearl inside a clam and our friend Sarah turned it into a necklace well Jetty was just trying to get up on the board and she kicked my necklace with my pearl and it broke but we will get it fixed So we're on our way looking for a spot to spend the night, but we saw on the map that there was a mountain bike trail like right here, like five minutes away. So we decided we still have plenty of daylight left. We gotta go check out the mountain bike trail. Sierra decided she's gonna get back on the horse and there's a an easy green loop for her that she's gonna try to do. And we're gonna bring you guys with us. Cause last time I went on a quick ride and it was amazing and the scenery was so cool and I didn't bring a camera. You ready? Oh good lord, where's Kayla? Alright, going right. Whoa. Going up. Cool bridge. What are you thinking? Sandy. 
All right, which way are we going? Purple. I think it's straight. Keep coming straight. Straight across this road. Wow, look at that bridge. That's cool. And then you go right up here. Sierra! She probably went back to the truck. 10 seconds. Sierra! All right, let's head back to the truck, see if she's there. Pretty small little area, but they definitely make the most out of it with those trails. Really fun trails. Oh, another cool view up here. Check this out. And a stump seat. Wow! Lake Superior. I think Superior is like French for something like lake above all the rest or something like that. Whoa, stump. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to go down here. <laughs> Almost. I love this stuff. I haven't mountain biked in so long until we got these mountain bikes. But this is a pure example of a huge difference between Sierra and I. I love to go fast and hard and take things to the extreme and i just love the challenge of it the rush of it you got to be on top of your game you got to be in shape you got to be sharp to push it how far you want to push it and sierra rather you know she'd rather go on hikes or if we're going on mountain bikes you know take it a little bit slower which is perfectly fine she had a great point the other day like we went mountain biking with my friend Brendan, we were kind of cruising through the woods just like this, but she's like, man, there was so, it was a new area. And she's like, there were so many pretty flowers. I just wanted to, to stop. And I, I wasn't able to look at them or enjoy them because we were just cruising so fast, which is an awesome point. It, like, there's nothing wrong with not taking things to the extreme and not being intense about things. And that's Sierra. I think it's just a good example of the difference between girls and guys as well. Like it probably represents that, not in all cases, but generally, so. But this is the stuff like if I don't get this every once in a while, whether it's on a mountain bike or on a wing or a kite or surfing or even just working out, then I have to catch myself because I'll get cranky and irritable. I need this every, at least every few days, but almost every day would be great. Wow. See this getting a little sketchy. <laughs> Steep fall down there. I don't want to fall down that one. Holy smokes. Oh, where are we? Hello. You beat me. How was it? Green is still hard. It was fun though, wasn't it? I'm scared of yeah, those cliffs like were like steep. Steep. But the trail was hard, you just had to go slow. Were you comfortable? Hey Jetty girl. It's just when I look down and say, oh shoot, if I don't go and some of the parts it was hard to go slower enough. 
Because you skidded, right? That's how some of your skids. Alright, let's find a place to sleep. We're just looking for the spots that I Overlander are talking about, but there's these signs that were no camping or sleeping in vehicles. Since getting up here to the UP, we definitely, there's been a lot more campers everywhere. Like, have you noticed that? So many campers, so many vans that you can tell are like decked out like adventure vans, like these Winnebago's and these built out Ford Econoline vans, like that one right there. Like right now I see one, two, three, four vans that are definitely like camping vans and then like another handful of trailers and RVs and stuff. So definitely a popular spot for this kind of stuff. But we've never seen so many like van life vans in one spot, which is kind of cool. We're just leaving this town, Munising. We did find some spots where we probably could have parked. There weren't any signs. It looked like some other campers around. There is no point in staying in town. It's gonna be a little bit hotter, a little more crowded. It's still free, but. We're heading an hour back east um, along the north side of the Upper Peninsula here, along Lake Superior. Hopefully we're gonna go to this spot that's the state forest spot again, like the other spots that we've been staying. We're off the paved road now, just dusting along the dirt, bumpy road. It's gonna take a long time to get these next five miles. We've been on this super guy, bumpy road for probably 45 minutes now. No, it's like- Yes. You have no concept of time. <laughs> 30 minutes for five miles. It says we're almost there, but we still don't even know if there's a campsite available, which would be really unfortunate if we made it the whole way and then there was nothing left. At least my cool lights work. Look like what happens when you turn the other ones on. It's so bright. There is officially no room for us. That's a bummer. All of these sites look so cool. 